up online and saw what it meant or anything? I did. Okay. It's a big deal. Yeah. So. You told me what it was and how many schools like are doing it. Uh -huh. Yeah, not every district in the state is doing it. There are quite a few, but in order for us to adopt it, we had to launch it at both high schools and get participation. And we didn't know whether both high schools would even get yeah. seal winners out of, out of all the applicants. And, but we did, and it's really exciting. Okay, so that's kind of a, all right. All right, so you ready? All right, so <laughs> think of the camera as your friend. Be, be yourself. Just have be a your, conversation. Be, yeah, be yourself, be you. Oh. Hi, I'm Miguel. I'm from Queen Anne's County High School, and I achieved the seal of biliteracy. Well, congratulations. Last night, you guys got this. Uh, I brought one in, so I'm sure everybody got this this bling. Uh, you get to wear this at graduation. Uh, it's, I mean, this is a, a big honor and a, a huge accomplishment. How do you feel about winning this and being a part of part of history? Good. Um, yeah, by myself. <laughs> now, give give us give everyone a little bit of, of, of background um, with you. Uh, are you a native Spanish speaker? Did, was the, was the test hard? Is it something you'd encourage other students to try to do? Uh, how do you, how'd you well, feel about the process? Yeah, I am a native speaker, but it, the test wasn't very hard. It was just parts where it's kind of hard to understand. But I mean, it was pretty easy, honestly. Very cool. So you achieved in both English and Spanish. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So that's going to go on his transcripts. And for everybody out there looking to hire him one day, he's biliterate. And that's something that is a huge, huge accomplishment. And how's your family feel about it? Did they, did they see it last night getting honored? Yeah. My grandpa was very proud. That's very exciting. Well, you made history. So congratulations. Thank you. Good. All right. All right. Cool. All right. Let's get you on mic. I'm Ariel Miles, student board member for Queen Anne's County, and I'm here with... Hi, I'm Bailey Andrea and I'm also from Queen Anne's County, and I just completed my state of biliteracy test. First and foremost, congratulations on that. That's a Thank huge you. honor. How does that make you feel, knowing that you are one of a handful of students to accomplish this? Well, um, being one of the first out of the entire um, Queen Anne's County history, it's kind of nice because, obviously, me and all the people that took the test, we came here as, like, dreamers. So to accomplish something of our culture is just really special to us. That's awesome. Speaking of dreams, how are you going to use this seal to accomplish yours? I encourage many students to take this test because for me, I'm going to take advantage of it with college, with education, with um, my career choice. This is a really good opportunity for all. How does your family feel knowing that you accomplished this? My family is just really proud. Um, like I said, it's like something of my culture, so it's like representing them and who they are and what I am as well. Um, I came here when I was five from Chile, so it's like completing something like this is like an also uh, kind of reassurance to them that I'm still what they were and where we came from and the roots are still there. Um, hi, my name is Nadie Palagio. I'm from Queen Anne's County High School, and I was just awarded the seal of biliteracy. Congratulations on that honor. So, what are you going to do with the Seal of Literacy? What are your future plans? Well, um, in college, I'm, since it's going on my transcript and everything, it's going to be an advantage for me and for future careers. I can, you know, speak two languages, which is um, an advantage in this country. That's awesome. So, are you a native speaker? Um, yes, when I, well, I was born here, but my parents, they came, on, my mom's from Guatemala, my dad's from Mexico, and they didn't know any English. I was, I only spoke Spanish with them, and then when I got to school, I had to learn English all by myself. And So, are you going to encourage your siblings to earn the seal of Um, yes, yeah. because it's an advantage in this country. Awesome, thank you. My name is Gloria Mora, and I'm from Queen Anne's High School, and I just achieved the award of Seal of Literacy. Congratulations on that award. So first and foremost, when did you start learning English? Well, I came here when I was 12, and since then I started learning English. So you are fluent in Spanish? Yes. So was it hard for you to take the test? 
Not really. It was kind of easy. There were some parts of that were a little challenge. Especially with yours, because you talked about your, your grandfather's. Okay, well, he just came like a week ago to come and visit us. But I grew up like the first five years of my life with him in Mexico. What was that like? I mean, I, I didn't really see my mom, so I was sad sometimes, but, yeah. So what did this, what did this mean to him, seeing you achieve this? He was proud, because he was like a father figure to me. <laughs> yeah, like, taught me everything from the time I was born to... Where were you born? Five. I was born in Chile. I was born in Mexico. I was born here. Where are your parents from? Uh, my mom's from Guatemala. My dad's from Mexico. So you think coming here gave you a better opportunity? Yeah. Yeah. How so? Well, a lot of the reason why I don't. I'm speaking for myself. I can't speak for the rest. But um, a lot of reason why we came to this country was for a better education opportunity because there's a lot of poverty in um, Chile. There's many people who are homeless, many like disasters from earthquakes. We're like the number one for earthquakes. So it's like my mom came here for a better opportunity for us. Because <laughs> back there, like their middle class is basically our lower class. So to move a different country, it's definitely brave of her. So it's like proud to like honor her in this way as her being a dreamer. Would you guys want to go back to visit your own country? Oh yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah? yeah. Um, what about you? Have you been to Guatemala? I uh, yes, I've been to Mexico. I went two years ago for two months, and then in February I went for a week to Guatemala. What was that like? It taught me a lot of things. Over there, people are you know they're what do you call it? Um, they're humble. They they don't take anything for granted. They use what they have and you know, it's really it's really like emotional to see everyone from their side. That's a great lesson that we all can use. What are you gonna do next year? You guys go uh, to college, Salisbury University. Yeah. What are you majoring in, do you know? Business. Business. Mm -hmm. Bilingual. That'd yeah. be that'd be a good opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. More yeah. for international business. Too. That's that's perfect. Yeah. They'll grab you up. Mm -hmm. Congrats. Thank you. I'm going to Chesapeake You're going into? Nursing. Very cool. Um, I'm going to Anne Arundel College and then doing a semester there and transferring to Maryland. Um, I'm going to major in accounting and then minor in uh, political science and philosophy. Very cool. Congratulations. I'm going to Bowie State University and I will be majoring in forensic science. Exciting. Well, congratulations on earning the seal and making history in Queen Anne's County. You the first. Yeah, you go. We celebrate a variety of arts awards, including our first ever Scholastic Art winners. And let me just say, art scene. It was absolutely outstanding. And tonight we celebrate seven students who are earning their Maryland Seal of Fine Literacy, another first. Yeah.